I started attending East Avenue Baptist Church when I was, I was 10 years old. Um, I was saved. I accepted Jesus as my Savior when I was 12 years old and was baptized by Pastor Eugene Grubbs. Uh, his wife, Anne, was my Sunday school teacher early on, as was Mary Hodges and uh, Mrs. Bass taught the 12-year-old class of girls. And she's the one who taught us to read our Bible every day. She had this chart up on the wall and if we read our Bible every day the previous week, we got a star on Sunday. Um, I was one of an average of about 20 girls, all the same age, uh, that grew up at East Avenue together. And I'm sure there were not too many ladies who wanted to take us on as a class because we were giggly little preteen and teenage girls who sat around laughing at everything. And uh, so as I grew up, uh, Arlene Green, who was the pastor's wife as I grew up, was our teacher year after year. And uh, in training union, our longtime church secretary, Vivian Ward, uh, and her husband, Bonnie, were our teachers for training union. And uh, Juana Jennings was my YWA, and now Act Teens leader, for many years. And all these ladies would provide social activities for us by inviting us to their homes and having fellowships at church and uh, they were such wonderful examples for us. Uh, we, as a church, have been greatly blessed by long-term pastors. Um, L.A. Green was here and Irene Green was still teaching our young marriage class up until the time that they left our church. Um, and when they left to serve a, at another place, I felt like I was losing my second mom and dad because they had been here all the time I was growing up. But uh, soon afterwards, Brother uh, Jim Jeffries and his wife Jeannie came to serve and uh, they were here for many years. Uh, this was during the time that we decided to relocate. We uh, really needed to move because we could not get a permit from the city to repair part of our church that was just falling down. We faced the dilemma of staying there and just dying down to nothing or moving. And uh, there were many of our elders in the church, our main deacons, who said we have no money. And we are a group of blue-collar workers, laborers. We can't build a new church. And at that point, one of the very young women in our church, Sharon Chittenden, uh, stood up and she said, I believe if God lays it on our heart that we should build, we should have enough faith to step out and do it. And at that point, everything changed and the church voted uh, to start a building campaign and to move. So our church from East Avenue moved and built a new building on North National. And we changed the name of the church at that time to National Heights Baptist Church. Uh, all these pastors, these long-term pastors, uh, gave us a great tradition here at National Heights. And then when Brother Jim retired, uh, Pastor Vaughn Weatherford and his wife Marcia came, and every one of these pastors were dedicated, hard-working shepherds who really cared for their flocks. 
and uh, they put the church before themselves time after time. And uh, I don't know, uh, my church just means so much to me and I know if I ever have a problem I can always count on my Christian friends to pray for me and to be there to offer help to get me through that problem. Um, my church and my church family mean everything to me.